Hello class, welcome to the test three review for math 001A. Um, this test is a little bit shorter. There are only 30 questions on it. The first ones are all of um, unit conversions. So let's say you start with four yards and you need to go to feet. What you'll do is you'll set it up four yards times three feet over one yard. The yards will cancel. So you have four times three equals 12 feet. Next, you'll have something like 144 cups that need to go to gallons. So we have to do a whole bunch of these. We'll set it up as one pint over four cups, and then one quart over two pints, and one quart over four gallons. And when we do that, we will get nine gallons. Basically what we're doing is dividing cups by 16. Next, we'll have something like 420 minutes to an hour, and we'll set it up as 420 minutes times one hour over 60 minutes, which equals seven hours. Then we'll have four pounds, two ounces. There are 16 ounces and one pound, so four times 16 equals 64. Next, we're gonna do um, yards to feet. So four yards to is, and we're gonna multiply by three feet per yard, and we're gonna get 12 feet. Then let's say that we need to go two days into seconds. This one is kind of long. We're gonna say that there are 24 hours in a day and 60 minutes in an hour and then 60 seconds in a minute when we do 2 times 24 times 60 times 60 we're going to get 17,280 seconds then let's say that we have 46 feet per second and we need to go to miles per hour so we're going to set it up that there are 46 feet per second, one mile is 5,280 feet, 60 seconds per minute, and 60 minutes per hour. When we do all the multiplication, we're going to get 31.36 miles per hour. Next, we have 80 feet per second. It's the exact same setup, but now, we are going to get that it is 60.68 miles or uh, miles per hour. Then we're going to have one where we go 10 inches to second into feet per minute. So we're going to say that there are 10 inches per second. There is one foot in 12 inches and 60 seconds per minute. When we do 10 divided by 12 times 60, we're going to get that there are 50 feet per minute in this one. Next, we're going to do some where it's just metric system, which are for pretty easy, we're just going to be multiplying by factors of 10 or dividing by factors of 10. So if we need to go 8 meters to centimeters, we know that there are 100 centimeters per meter. So 8 times 100 equals 800 centimeters. Then if we have milliliters to liters, say we have 780, we know that there are 1,000 milliliters per liter. Divide 780 by 1,000 and get 0.78 liters. Then almost the same question except it's seven 
millimeters into meters and we're going to go seven milliliter meters times one meter over 1,000 millimeters. So we're dividing seven by 1,000. And this time we're going to get 0 0.007 meters. Next, we're going to go from kilograms to grams. Let's say we have four kilograms into grams. There are 1,000 grams per kilogram. So four times 1,000 is 4,000. Next, you're gonna have a word problem. Let's say that we have 276 hot tubs and each one of them needs 115 milliliters of cleaner. How many liters do we need for the cleaner? So we have to set this one up using various um, parts. And so what we're gonna have to do is 276, and I just put tubs, times 115 milliliters per tub, times one liter per 1,000 milliliters, because that is the um, conversion factor that we're gonna use. So with this, we're gonna say 276 times 115 divided by 1,000, and we're going to get 31.74 liters. You're gonna notice that a lot of these are um, with a decimal and rounding. For this particular test, you will be allowed to use a calculator. Um, the testing center might just give you, uh, have you used the one on the computer, or if you have a basic one, take it. Uh, they won't let you use one that's on a phone though. Um, they don't allow phones in there. So the next type of question is a temperature conversion. So we're gonna convert 58 degrees Fahrenheit into Celsius. The formula for that, you can use one of two, whether you prefer fractions or decimals. So you can either say that Celsius is five over nine times F minus 32, or F minus 32 divided by 1.8. They mean the same thing. I'm gonna write mine as a fraction. And so I'm just gonna put in the Fahrenheit, the, what we have given, the 58, in for F. So I'm gonna have 58 minus 32. Remember to do that first. And then times five divided by nine, and you'll get 14.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Then let's say that we're gonna do 100 pounds per kilo, or into kilograms. Use the uh, one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So 100 pounds divided by 2.2 pounds is 45.45 kilograms. This question, is actually asking you to um, put in your weight and in pounds and then change it to kilograms. If you want to just use 100, you're going to get 45.45. That's fine. Um, I don't really care what weight you put. You don't need to put your actual weight there. Okay, so that's it for the conversions. Then we're gonna have some questions where it's gonna start with 13x equals 18. So what you're gonna do there is divide both sides by 13 and you're just gonna get 18 over 13. This one, just leave it as a fraction. Don't change anything to decimals. Then you'll have 13 equals negative 16 plus x. So since we are subtracting the 16 here. The opposite of that is adding. So we're going to add 16 to both sides. And when we do that, we're going to get that x equals 29. Then we have something like a over negative 9 
equals 5. We're going to multiply both sides by negative 9 because the opposite of dividing is multiplying. When we do that, we're going to get that A equals 45. Then we're going to get one with fractions. Say we have 4 over 7x equals negative 7 over 5. Whenever we have a fraction like this, we just multiply both sides by the reciprocal. If you remember from the previous test, the reciprocal is where you just flip the fraction. So we're going to multiply both sides by 7 over 4. 7 over 4. Negative 7 times negative 7 is negative, or times 7 is negative 49 over 5 times 4, which is 20. Next, we're going to have negative 7 times the difference of x and 6 minus, and then minus 3 equals negative 1 times the sum of x plus 7. On this, we need to first distribute. We're going to distribute the negative 7 and the negative 1. When we do that, negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 6 is 42. We still have minus 3. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 7 is minus 7. Then we're going to combine like terms on both sides. So 42 minus 3 is 39. Then we're going to move all our x's to one side and all our numbers to the other. I'm moving them to this side to keep them positive. So I'm going to add 7x to both sides. Since I'm moving my x's to the right, I'm going to move my numbers to the left. So since it was minus 7, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And I'm going to get that negative x plus 7x is 6x, 39 plus 7 is 46. I'm going to divide both sides by 6 and get as my answer x equals 23 over 3 because 46 over 6 will reduce. Make sure that when you get any fractions that you reduce them to the lowest terms. Next, we're going to have a question just like it. 8 times, in parentheses, x minus 8, e minus 7 equals 7 times x minus 5. So I'm going to distribute the 8 and the 7 and get 8x minus 64 minus 7 equals 7x minus 35. I'm going to combine like terms and get 8x minus 71 equals 7x minus 75. Again, I need to move my x's to one side, numbers to the other. This time, I'm going to move them over to here so they stay positive. Subtract 7x from both sides. Since I'm moving my numbers to the left, I'm going to move my, or my letters to the left, variables. I'm going to move my numbers to the right, so I'm going to add 71, which is the opposite of minus. And I'm going to get 8x minus 7x just equals x, 1x, and negative 35 plus 71 equals 36. So I can just end there, x equals 36. The next question will be closer to 10x plus 10 equals 9 times the difference of x and 3 and then minus 1. So here, I just need to distribute one time. I'm going to distribute the 9, and I'm going to get 10x plus 10 equals 9x minus 27 minus 1. I'm going to combine like terms and get 10x plus 10 equals 9x minus 28. I'm going to move my numbers to the left so that they stay positive, that means I need to, or my x's, I'm going to move my numbers to the right, so minus 9x from both sides, plus, or minus 10 from both, and I'm going to be left with x equals negative 38. Then, 
it's going to be another one where I distribute. It's going to be 7 times the difference of 2x and 3, and that's going to equal 34. So this one doesn't have quite as much to it. I'm just going to multiply the 7 through and get 14x minus 21 equals 34. Then I'm going to add 21 to both sides and get 14x equals 55. I'm going to divide both sides by 14 to, I, to just have x. I'm going to be left with 55 over 14. There's nothing I can do with that because there's nothing to um, simplify. If there was, then you would need to do so. That's what I'm going to do for part one. Come back for part two.